everyone. This is Melanie from Melanie B's Creative Studio. And today we're going to talk about a couple of the Dimensions Paint Works Paint by Number kits. Now, back a few months ago, I had purchased my first Dimensions kit and I did a review on it for you guys. And then I gave it to my daughter in law for um, her first Paint by Number. So, because I did that, I didn't really have an opportunity to play with it and use the paints and try any mixing and do any of that stuff. So I thought that it would be better for me to go ahead and just get a couple small ones, test them out, see what I think, try the mixing and all that stuff. And you guys know I've got 15 works in progress right now. And I have more than that, but I, I'm constantly working on different pieces for videos. But I want to test out the mixing on a Dimensions. Now, the question for everybody, everybody seems to ask, is, is do you clear gesso a Dimensions? Here is what I have heard. I did not gesso the first Dimensions I had that I gave to my daughter-in-law because of the texture of the paper and the fact that it's on a cardboard or like a mat board base background. I didn't know if it would warp it. So I've had a lot of people say they do put one layer of clear gesso on their Dimensions piece, but then they, after it dries, they actually put something heavy on top to flatten it back out because it will warp a little bit. So I haven't tried it. What I thought I would do is I would take one of these paintings and I would gesso it to kind of get a test on what it does to the painting. The first one I'm gonna talk about, I've seen several of the group members finish and it is gorgeous. And this one reminds me of Key West too. I don't know, just, or like Hilton Head and Harbor Town. In, you know, like you've got this little lighthouse off in the distance. This just looks so much like that vibe, that coastal vibe that I love so much. So that's why I chose this one. Now let's talk about each one of these. Um, the other one is this one right here. This one is called Chickadees and Magnolias, I believe. And this one is called Cafe by the Sea. So first let's take a look at Cafe by the Sea. This is an 11 by 14 inch. So this is an exact 11 by 14 inch, you guys. This one, I think they're made in America and that is why they use the standard measurements, but that it's a 35 and a half centimeter by 27.9 centimeter. And that's how you can tell that this is made for us pretty much because they're actually measuring in inches. So that means you can take this piece when you're done. You don't have to do anything to it. You buy an 11 by 14 frame, you put it in there and you're done. I have a thing on my blog about framing. You guys, if you have any questions on framing, please, please, please go read that first. My job before this was a custom framer. So I have lots of advice for you guys. Um, any of you paint by number or diamond painting people who want information about framing, be sure to check out that blog article and I will put that link right here and also in the description so that you can go find that. It will explain to you whether it's okay to put glass on a painting and all that stuff. So what is in the box? It's no different than the one that I did before, but since you guys are here today, let me go ahead and show you. They have their paintings on a cardboard piece or a matte board piece, and they're printed in a taupey kind of color. So it's like a gray, but it's a warm gray so that when you finish, you're not seeing any lines or numbers. The texture of this is like a linen texture. And so it's a totally different texture than a canvas. They also include our reference guide. that's very clear. It tells you over here how to mix colors and to achieve the colors that you need, which I haven't done yet. So, you know, I'm just kind of showing you what it has. There's also instructions on the back with some information. And then we also have these instructions here in multiple languages for those of you who do not speak English. So here are the little paint pots. These pop apart like that. And so you can use them individually. You can use them in sets of three, however you like to do your paint pots. They are numbered on the front and they also have these color numbers, which I'm assuming is interchangeable with any of their kits, but you know what they say about you know, when you assume, <laughs> and if you don't know, I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> I'd have to use a bad word. Okay, so let me pop these back together. I kinda like just demonstrating them in a little row of six here. So we have 12 colors, which is a lot less than we normally have with a paint by number kit. 
but it's because you are mixing the other colors that you'll need for this painting. Here is the swatch. Now, this is where I was a little disappointed, I guess because I had recently done videos on the shippers and the same kind of, you know, paint pots and stuff. So I had high hopes, uh, but there's 12 colors and number one is very transparent, which is the white. So you guys, you get a titanium white from Liquitex or whomever you wanna buy that from. And that is the white you can use if you need to. If, it, if you get a titanium white and you notice it's too white for what this color should be, add a little of this color to it and make it a little, you know, a little closer to what this is because whites are not all the same. All right, this yellow is transparent to semi-opaque at best. And this creamy color here is semi-opaque and, um, and somewhere between transparent and semi-opaque. And then this blue is semi-opaque. So I was, out of 12 colors, I don't know, I just expected better coverage. And for four paints out of 12 to be transparent or semi-opaque, I mean, that's a third of the paints. So I was a little disappointed with that. But I will say that the paintings that I've seen completed, like this one, were fabulous. So I'm not gonna say don't try one of these. These kits are also very affordable, which is important too. And I'm not saying you should get junk paints because it's affordable, but I just want you to kind of be prepared that a couple of paints might need some work when you get to them. Now, if you're not sure what to do about transparent paints, make sure you check out my video. It kind of gives you some helpful hints about how to deal with paints that are transparent, how to prep for those and all of that. Let's look at the next one. So this one I have not seen completed on the group and it might be that somebody posted it, but I just missed it. This one's gorgeous. And I thought my mother would love this one. I know a lot of you guys are sitting there right now laughing your butts off because you know I never complete a project. So don't laugh at me and don't hate on me, okay? Don't judge me. But she would really love this. And y'all have five months <laughs> to do this before Mother's Day. So maybe this will be the one I test. In fact, I probably will test this one when I do my um, when I do my updates and stuff, I think this is the one I'll use. But I wanna look at these paints because these were not super impressive. And that is, has me a little bit nervous. This painting is also the same size as the other one. It's 11 by 14 inch one. One of the things that you can expect when you buy a Dimensions paint, Paintworks or a Shipper are the ones that are in boxes. I mean, these are different than the ones that you get with a canvas. I'm not gonna go into all the different details and stuff, but these are sold in like mass quantities. So you can find a Dimensions Paintworks at places like Joann's, Hobby Lobby, Amazon, um, and you'll know that they're all the same kit, okay? I got these two at Hirschners.com because I have a membership with them now where I save a little money and they had a sale. And I think I got these for like $12.99 a piece which is super inexpensive. They also have the same contents in this one with our reference guide and our paint mixing chart here. I will at some point y'all come back and do a video about how to mix the paints and work on these pieces. I promise you, I cannot say when, but I know that I will in the future. So this palette was a tricky one because of those super bright pinks. Out of 12 paint colors, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight were semi-opaque or transparent. I don't think that's acceptable. I mean, I'm very disappointed. But the reason I wanna do this kit is to make it for my mom. So what I'll do is I will use that new 36 piece shipper acrylic paint set to mix the colors that I need to finish this piece. Or I'll use other paints from other, other sets I'll use my Artezas. I will use something because I really want to do this piece, but I'm super disappointed about the quality of those paints. So that's it for today, you guys. I forgot to mention, they also come with a paintbrush. Um, it's taped to the back. So I had forgotten about that because you know, out of sight, out of mind. And uh, so you do get a paintbrush as well. But that is all for today. One, one day I will come back and we will discuss the mixing of colors for a Dimensions Paintworks painting and 
that will take place in a future video. So as for today, I'm so thankful you joined me. And I hope this kind of gave you a little inside look at what to expect if you buy a Dimensions Paintworks painting. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please remember to subscribe to my channel since I have tons of videos coming up this year and I don't want you to miss anything because I love to share. So don't forget to subscribe and thank you as always for watching. I will see you back soon.